Hi crafty friends, it's Sylvia. How's everyone doing today? So today guys, we're gonna do a work in progress, which is a whip, whip and chat. And so get comfortable, grab a cup of coffee, I don't know, a milkshake, kick off your shoes and just get comfortable or you can diamond paint along. So I have been working on Rochelle uh, from Diamond Art Club by Hannah Lynn. And I started uh, March 1st, okay? And she's a round diamond drill. She's 17 by 26 inches and 46.6 centimeters by 65.9 centimeters. So this is what I'm working on for the month of March. And I'm also working on a small one uh, for, the for the month of March because I'm trying to do work on a big one and a small one for each month. And the one that I'm working on is the Pink Daisy Dragonfly from Diamond Art Club, which uh, I don't know where the paper is right now, but anyway. Okay, so what else? And actually, the Pink Daisy Dragonfly is considered a snack size. It's a small painting. All right, and if you, as you can see, I've been trying to work very hard because we only have, what, uh, next week? That's it, uh, that I have to finish this. And so I finally got to finish her uh, a little bit of her face last night. I have blinged her out like crazy, guys. I have added seven uh, colors, seven ABs. Plus, it already comes with four, so yeah, I'm going blink crazy. So let me show you a little bit what I'm working with. So I have here, let's take everything out. This is this beautiful, gorgeous tray, okay, that I got from Lexi Sparkle Craft, and it's a, basically called a glitter trinket tray. I absolutely love it. I, I love it so much that I actually ordered another one. But anyway... Um, this one is, it's, it's awesome. It's just basically, it's, it's like a resting tray. So you can put it anywhere on your table. And before I would just put everything down and my pens would keep rolling. So now, of course, I put everything on my tray. And this is also a lip butter mango, delicious. I put it in here and that is also from Lexi. And then I, this is what I use to pick up my, my uh, ABs. Uh, it's pretty placer. And this is on Etsy, and it's a diamond painting crayon, and it's uh, the flavor, well, the scent, not the flavor. The scent is red hot cinnamon, and they really do work, guys. I love them, and you can sharpen them. And of course, I use the tweezers from uh, Diamond Art Club. And then this pen, I always, I always like to try to uh, alternate two pens. And this one has a straightener, and this is from Amazon, and I love all the Amazon pens, guys. And this, we, this beauty, I actually looked it up because I couldn't remember where I got it. And it's from actually from Shimmering Canvases. I bought this all a while back, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And this here, guys, I love, love, love. My friend told me to buy these. And this is a single placer metal from Diamond Art Club. They really do work. It's just so much easier. I don't know why, but it's just so much easier when I'm diamond painting. And I'm also using, um, before I forget, the mini uh, dots, the glue dots, okay? And then this beautiful cover minder, uh, Mermaid. And this is, um, where did I get it from? Oh, Shine Shop Designs, okay? I bought three mermaids, but this is one of them. I thought she has, a, she's cute because she's got purple hair. Uh, what else? Oh, and let's not forget the tray that we're gonna be using today. It's This one is from Bella Art de Nicole, which I love. And the release paper, look how pretty that is, guys. It's little turtles with hearts heart balloons and this is from crafts with crashly and these are called lovely turtles and all this most of it you get on um on etsy okay so it's been a while guys that i i think three weeks maybe i don't know anyway so let's see where am i gonna work on today uh up to here maybe up to there not too much because i'm actually have to go downstairs soon okay and uh, let's try this pen so we're going to work with, let's start with the black. Or maybe do the whole thing. Yeah, why not do the whole thing, right? In black, we can cover this here. Right there. Let's put this here. So the black is 310. All right, so let's see what else is going on. For the next month of April, I'm actually, uh, I thought of something to do. And um, it's basically, you know how we all buy diamond paintings and we keep buying and we keep buying. 
So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working for the month of April on a painting. It's actually my very first painting that I purchased from Diamond Art Club. Okay. Um, and so that's what I'm going to be working for the month of April. And of course, also a snack size because I'm trying to do uh, both a big one and a small one. Um, and then, guys, while I was looking that up because I needed to go on Diamond Art Club and find out, you know, which was my first uh, diamond painting that I purchased. And then I realized that m this Monday, guys, uh, is actually going to be my second year of diamond painting anniversary. I think it's a milestone, isn't it? two years of diamond painting guys and so much worth it guys because this is so calming and so relaxing and it's so much fun i love it i think we all do and it's very addicting oh my gosh it is so addicting guys and um yeah and what else and then the other thing guys i just want to say thank you very very much to all my subscribers and my family and my friends. Uh, I'm almost at a thousand guys. It took me a while, but the important thing is just to keep trying and never give up guys. Um, I'm almost to a, to a thousand and it just feels so great. And I'm just so thankful. I really, really appreciate it. And since it's gonna be, when I get to a thousand, I will be doing a giveaway guys. When I get to a thousand subscribers. So just uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. And what else? What's been going on with me? Well, I actually had to go see a, I actually had to find a new doctor because I have a different insurance. So, because um, my knees and my ankles have been swelling up. I, have, I thought, okay, maybe it's diabetes. It's, it could be uh, arthritis or I don't know, thyroid, I thought of all the worst things, uh, bad circulation, I have no idea. So I basically went and I got some blood work done. And, um, and that whole week I was praying, well, oh, please, I hope they don't call me because they say, if we don't call you, that means that everything is okay. But two weeks passed and I didn't get a call. So I was happy about that, but I still wanted to know what's going on. So they basically said that the, the blood results were fine, but I still need to find a doctor because if it's not diabetes and it's not um, uh, thyroid, uh, could it be bad circulation, which is not good. This could be a thousand things, I don't know. So I just need to look for specialists now. That's gonna be my next thing because I love diamond painting and uh and i've been walking every day you know to, to see if that helps and actually that's been helping and of course trying to lose weight i did lose two pounds two two full pounds in two weeks so that means i lost a, a pound a week which is good you know that's the they say that's the uh the healthy way you don't want to lose too many pounds too quickly and it's actually hard because i love to eat guys i love food but who doesn't right and, uh, and I love sweets. That's the problem. I, I love sweets. So, and what else? So, oh, I mean, if, before, before I forget, um, my sister, well, you know, my mother never wants to stay anywhere. Uh, you know, she just likes to be here. And uh, so my sister said, hey, I'm picking her up on last Thursday. And she did. She came to pick her up. Of course, mommy went... Uh, moaning and she didn't want to go but you know i said mommy you need to go because you know she's your other daughter and and your and your and olivia's there she's your granddaughter and you'll have a good you'll have fun so anyway we convinced her and so she went but you know complaining all the way <laughs> so anyway so it's so funny so she she left on thursday and then on friday during the night i called my sister and i said hey how's mommy doing she said, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. And I said, what? She said, oh, since she's been here, since this morning, she said, she's been uh, threatening me. I go, what? We started laughing. I said, what do you mean threatening you? She said, yeah. She keeps telling me that if I don't take her to back to your place, that she's going to actually go walking. And guys, it's like, it's like a 25 minute uh, drive from my sister to my house. So can you imagine my mother, my mother threatening my sister that she's going to come back here walking. She's hilarious, but she's fine. You know, she had a good time. And, uh, 
And I told my sister, well, don't feel bad. She threatens me all the time. <laughs> she, she tells me, I'm going to go live with your brother. Uh, <laughs> but she threatens me with that because you know why, guys? Because my brother cannot. Because my brother has a huge dog that looks like a horse. A cane, of course, so. And, of course, it's dangerous because, you know, my, if, if my mom stayed there with my brother while he's working with a dog, the dog can knock her over, which is dangerous. So, of course, we wouldn't, we wouldn't do that. So, she likes to threaten me with that. I'm going to go stay with your brother. She's hilarious. I love her. And, um, and what else is going on? Ah, before I forget, I'm actually going to a retreat uh, next Friday. So I'm really looking forward to that. And that's also you know, the other reason that I need to finish this diamond painting because uh, I don't want to take the painting with me to the retreat because it's actually a scrapbooking retreat. So I want to work on some scrapbook pages or maybe uh, just bring some pictures because I have a lot of pages that I've done with no pictures. And then I have like maybe like 10 of those plastic containers that you put... Uh, they're pretty thick you buy them at Hobby Lobby or in Michaels and they're full of pages that I've done and so I need to put pictures and maybe I'll do that I don't know we'll see uh, so I'm really really looking forward to that because I'll be going with my friend my buddy Dorothy and uh, and also two other ladies that we know and then the rest of the ladies we don't know so it's nice to get to meet new people and uh, but it's not far so I might just not stay there overnight and then just leave late and then just go back the next day early so I might be doing that I just like to be I like, I like to stay home I like to sleep in my own bed you know I don't mind scrapbooking with people and you know meeting new people which is fun but I rather come home you know some people actually like to stay at not me even if when I go on vacation I have to be like by the third day I'm bored you know it's like I just I already want to go come home so that's just I guess I'm a homebody guys and uh, so yeah I'm really looking forward to that and then I come if I go to the retreat leave on Friday well and go back and forth and then on Sunday I'll be exhausted but then the next day I'm supposed to serve uh, jury duty and I am praying because I already had to, you know, they send you the card. You have to go online. You have to register. Let them know that you received it. And I did all that. But I am praying that I do not have to do jury duty. I do not want to do jury duty. And that's supposed to be on Monday. And I don't know how. I don't know if there's a way for me not. Because, I mean, I am a caretaker. I take care of my mom. So who's going to be 89. And, uh, you know, who's going to be here? Take care of my mom. Because on the retreat, my brother will probably come over and my husband will be here, you know, during the day for that weekend. Usually, if I go on a, on a retreat, my, she'll stay with my sister. But my sister already has plans. So that's fine. But, uh, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do. And my husband keeps telling me, oh, you're going to love it. It's your civil duty. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've done jury duty before in New York. And I do not, I don't know if I want to do that again. Okay. All right, and very quickly, it's been already 13 minutes, so I wanted to share very quickly, guys, some good news. And I actually was going to tell you, but it's pretty, so eh, I want to say it's a pretty, pretty long story, but anyway, I just made copies of it, so I'll just read it out loud. So this is the good news, okay? And this one is two sisters that were put up for adoption at the end of World War II finally reunite after 75 years apart okay so let's put this over here because if I can read it from there and I can continue diamond painting let's see yeah so Annie and Sheila both in their late oh wait let me shake this Annie and Sheila both in their late 70s have Sheila's daughter-in-law and Anne's son to thank for the reunion after they took it upon themselves separated to track their long lost relatives adopted in the uk as an infant in 1946 sheila had no knowledge of who her birth parents were but using a dna product 
they discovered that she had a half sister who lived in the Netherlands, born just a few months after she, after her to the, I'm sorry, she born just a few months after her to the same father. It's hard to read in diamond pink, guys. Uh, Sheila's daughter-in-law, Karen, was messaged by Annie's son. Mark by Annie's son Mark and both sisters did it did a DNA test which confirmed that they were related after meeting for the first time last year Sheila said it was like looking in the mirror and talking to myself it was amazing we have the same hobbies and the same medical complaints it is a very strange she always knew she was adopted because her parents told her I was special because mommy and daddy picked me. They said her father was a Canadian soldier who fought against the Nazis in Europe and returned home after the war. They searched for Sheila's both, uh, I'm sorry, she, they searched, the search for Sheila's birth father had remained unsuccessful for eight years, leading the family to believe they hid a dead end. Turn the page. Meanwhile, in the Netherlands, Annie was also trying to uncover her family history after finding out her stepfather was not her biological father. Annie only discovered the truth after overhearing a conversation between relatives and searching through family documents. Annie's biological father was a Canadian soldier who had fought in World War II and participated in the liberation of the Netherlands from Nazi occupation. Oh, come on. And Annie's 50-year-old son, Mark, made a, uh, made a breakthrough when a joke between cousins led to him ordering a DNA test. When the email arrived announcing a DNA match, Mark was astonished to discover that his mother had a half-sister. After verifying the DNA connection, by testing both sisters, Mark finally told his mother that he had found her sister. Can you imagine? That he had found her half-sister. And arranged a video call in May of 2022. They had an amazing conversation. Said Mark. They had a, an amazing conversation, said Mark. They look the same. They have the same hobbies. It was amazing. The face-to-face -face meeting took place in the Netherlands a couple months later. We both love to crochet and we both knit and do crafts, said Sheila, who joked, adding, I must say Annie is a lot better than me. Annie agrees that the meeting was very, very special and we immediately connected. And although the language was a problem, it felt very natural to see and talk to my sister after all these years. It can be difficult to keep in touch as we are not very good with computers and phones. My English is not good, but I am trying to learn. I wish she lived closer. Well, that's it guys isn't that a wonderful story so inspiring can you imagine guys if all of a sudden you find out that you have a half sister or that you were adopted it's amazing i love to share those happy story with, with you guys you know because we all need some happy stories all right and you hear that sound guys that's from the uh the glue dots. I don't know. Some people don't like that sound, but I actually like it. You hear that? And I think that's about it, guys. I will continue working on her. Working very hard this weekend. 
and it's so pressure guys because really, really really this is a hobby you know we just do it when we can but you know me i like to say no 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 you gotta finish this by the end of march i will hopefully and uh so that's it so as you can see guys i always try to do the black first and then fill in the rest yeah isn't she pretty she's got beautiful blue eyes anyway okay guys so that's about it and i hope you guys have a wonderful wonderful rest of the day love you guys bye bye